Okay, let's unpack this. Imagine you're a content creator, maybe a musician, or uh, even a game developer. You need a specific voice for your project, right? Yeah, maybe a character voice or backing vocals or just keeping your brand sound consistent. Exactly. And doing that the old way, it can be expensive, take ages. Honestly, it's often a real headache. Mm -hmm. But what if AI could step in, offer a genuinely professional fix minus all that hassle? Well, that's what we're looking into today. Yeah, today we're doing a deep dive into an AI voice platform called kits.ai. We're using insights from a great review over on the YouTube channel, Smart Format. And our mission here is really to get under the hood. Mm -hmm. What makes Kits.ai stand out? What's it actually doing for creators? And why is it becoming, well, such a significant tool? So Kits.ai, we've heard about AI voice generators before. What actually makes this one different? You know, if you've maybe played around with others? That's a really good question because yeah. this isn't just, you know, another text-to-speech thing. The Smart Format review really nails its core strength. Kits.ai can mm -hmm. create these ultra-realistic voice clones. And uh, the key part, it does this with minimal training data. Minimal data. Okay, that sounds important. Why is that such a big deal? Well, that's where it gets really exciting for users. Mm -hmm. Because historically, getting a good voice clone, like a really high-fidelity one, that meant tons of studio time, massive data sets. Yeah, expensive stuff. Probably out of reach for smaller creators. Exactly. Yeah. So minimal data basically means Kits.ai is opening the door. It's democratizing access to these professional level voice assets. So a musician could clone their own voice from maybe just one song. Pretty much. Or a small game dev team could create a whole cast of characters without a huge voice acting budget. It really lowers the barrier to entry for creating high quality audio. That does sound like a game changer, not just making it easier, but changing who can create this kind of content. Mm. So beyond that minimal data thing, how versatile is it? Like, can you keep a voice consistent if you're working on multiple projects? Yeah, that versatility is crucial. So kits.ai gives you options. There's a big library of pre-made AI voices ready to go. Great for new characters, trying different styles. Okay, useful. But then the really powerful part, you can train your own custom voice model. Ah, okay. So that's how you maintain consistency, like for a podcast series or a brand specific sound. Precisely. That's key for maintaining that identity. Yeah. And the review also mentioned the interface is super clean, easy to use, makes all that power accessible, you know? Right. And connecting that to actual uses. I mean, music producers could maybe make AI backing vocals or test melodies without needing a singer right there. Absolutely. Or think about game developers needing voices for all those background characters. Yeah. NPCs, you know. Right. Non-player characters. Yeah. yeah. Avoids a logistical nightmare. Totally. YouTubers could add unique character voices. Yeah. Businesses could create consistent branded audio for, well, everything from ads to training. The possibilities are huge. It opens up creative avenues. Okay, so we get what it is and why it's potentially transformative with minimal data and custom training. But how do you actually, like, use it? How do you get your script or your voice in there? What's the tech behind that quality? Good question. It's flexible. It does support standard text-to-speech, obviously. Mm -hmm. But you can also do audio-to-audio -audio conversion. That gives you more fine-grained control if you already have a vocal recording you want to transform. Okay. And for developers, there's an API. So they can build kits.ai right into their own software or workflows. And the quality. Because let's be honest, we've all heard those slightly robotic, kind of creepy AI voices. Mm. Did the review touch on whether kits.ai avoids that? Or are there still catches? Yeah, that's super important. And the review is pretty clear. Mm. The audio quality is genuinely impressive. Really? Yeah. They mentioned natural intonation, decent emotional range, and surprisingly few artifacts. You know, those weird choppy sounds or metallic tones. Yeah, the stuff that usually gives it away. Right. Kits.ai seems to handle that much better, delivering something really polished. Plus, they give you tools to tweak it, pitch, speed, even the vocal timbre, the sort of color of the voice. Like having a mini sound engineer built in. Kind of, yeah. Makes it very controllable. It is worth noting, though, this isn't entirely free, right? Especially premium. for those premium features. That's right. The review pointed out, and it makes sense, that higher tier stuff, especially that custom voice training, needs a paid plan. Given the professional output, that's understandable. So summing it up. Kits.ai really looks like a professional level tool. It's versatile. The quality is high. Of course, like any AI, the results depend on your input and how you use the controls. Sure. Garbage in, garbage out still applies. Pretty much. But if you're aiming for polished AI vocals or voice clones that genuinely don't sound robotic, 
Kits.ai seems to be one of the best options out there right now. It's really pushing the standard. So what does this all mean for you listening? Kits.ai is definitely a major player in AI voice generation, expanding what's possible creatively for everyone from solo creators to big studios. Which leaves us with a final thought to chew on. If voices can be generated or even cloned, mm -hmm. this realistically, mm -hmm. what does that raise for you? About the future of creativity or even, you know, the whole idea of what vocal identity means in our digital world. 